All right. Hello, everybody. Hello, hello. Welcome to 20 Minute Guitar Player. We are live and it's Saturday. Thought I'd do hop on and do a guitar lesson and I hope you can join me. Grab your guitar. Sorry, I'm a little bit late, about 10 minutes late, but that's cool. We're still here and we're going to do it. Yeah, I got a cool lesson for you today and um, a really great song, really cool song. And Kind of made a re, re resurfacing in the last couple of months. There, they um, Luke Combs did a cover of this on uh, on his album, and they did a duet. Um, Tracy Chapman and Luke Combs did a duet on the Grammys. I thought it'd be really cool to teach this lesson on the song "Fast Car" by Tracy Chapman. Really simple song, but it sounds amazing, and it's so fun to play. So I wanted to do a live lesson on it today. So let's get into it. Got some slides again for you. Uh, man, I'm so visual. I'm, just, I'm a visual person. I need slides to see. So it's really helpful. So Chase, Tracy Chapman released an album um, and with the song Fast Car. Fast Car came out on April 6, 1988. I remember I remember hanging out at my parents' house. I was in grade nine or so, grade eight or grade nine. I remember laying on the couch watching much music and uh, this song kept coming on. I was like, man, that's a cool song. So um, you probably heard it. And um, the song really got popular when Tracy Chapman appeared on Nelson Mandela's 70th uh, birthday tribute. They had a concert and she performed the song solo and it really took off after that. So it went into the top top uh, charts and it reached number six on the Billboard Hot 100 after that appearance. And um, so it did really well for her at the time, kind of launched her career, I'd say. And then recently, Luke Combs covered the song and it became a number one hit after he covered it and became a number one Billboard country hit and she became the first African-American to win song of the year and have a number one hit. So it was a really big, big deal, big deal. And the song is great. I think a lot of people relate to the song because it's all about overcoming struggles and adversity. And I think this is part of what makes the song so great is the, um, is the subject matter. It's all kind of about the underdog overcoming adversity and, um, wishing and hoping for a better life and making the sacrifices and building a life, building the foundations for a better life. Um, that's the, the, the lyric content. So, um, yeah, a lot of people can relate to that. Always looking for to better things. Yeah. So it's really cool. All right. So let's check it out. The riff is iconic. That intro riff. So the song is in the key of A major. So you can put a capo on the second fret and you can use the G shapes. Okay. So that's how she actually plays it. She has a capo on the second fret and she's playing G. Everything's in the with G shapes. But even though we're playing G chords, G shapes, the song is in A. Okay. So the reason being is that G would be normally here. With the nut here but we're replacing the nut with the capo and we're sliding everything up two frets so g would be in the third fret but now with the we're sliding everything up two frets so one g to a and then we're putting capo on the second fret so if you slide your chords up it changes what chord it is so we can take we can start here with a normal g i can slide that whole shape up this is the beauty of guitar just slide everything up okay <laughs> So I can take G and go G sharp, A, A sharp, B, C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E. And then I have to put a cable in behind to help us. But I could just slide those shapes up and it changes the key of the chord, it changes the chord name. So, okay, so, so that's what she did. She normally it would be G, but she took those shapes, slid everything up, two frets to make it A. So G, G sharp, 
A. Now we are an A chord, but it's a G shape. So that gets a little confusing, and the cable's on the second fret. But it can make it easier, make things easier for you to play doing that. And there's cool tricks that she does in the song that only really work in the key of G. She wouldn't be, if she was playing A down here, she wouldn't be able to do those cool little riffs and stuff. So it may, maybe that's why she used the cable and used the G shape so she could do a little more with the song, which we're going to find out all about here in a second. So grab your guitar and let's jump into it. I want you playing along with me here today, if you're joining. So song is in the key of A major. So that means it's the one is the A, E is the four. D is the five, F sharp minor is the minor six, okay? So those are the chords, A, D, E, and F sharp minor. That's, if you see the key of A, that's automatically you should think the one, four, five, and minor six, which is A is the one, D, four, five is the E, and F sharp minor is the minor six. I think I said that right. <laughs> The first time okay the song's in 100 is 114 beats per minute so that means that there's 114 beats per minute and that's the tempo that it's set at so you can find a metronome and set it at that and you'll be playing it at the right tempo and it's also in common time so four four time signature meaning there's four beats per bar. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Just like that. Can you guys hear me okay? I didn't test my mic here. And my kids get their hands on it. And everything goes crazy. <laughs> okay. Let me know if everything's good. Okay. Um, all right. So that's the basics of the song. So capo, second fret. Key of A major. Made up of A, D, and E chords with an F sharp minor. 114 beats per minute. Songs in common time, 4-4 four, four time. Most pop songs and rock songs are in the key, are in 4-4 four, four time. Uh, okay, song form. Uh, the song is basically kind of like a folk song type form. So, hey, Mary, thanks for joining. So it's like a lot of verses in the, in the folk songs. So this is similar. This song has like... Verse one, verse two, verse three, verse four, and then it hits the chorus, or some people call it a bridge, but it hits the chorus. And then it goes to verse five, and then chorus, verse six, and then chorus, and then ends with a verse, verse seven. Okay, so it's kind of like that folk song format. Um, that's that. And then here we go. Let's zoom in a little closer. So this is the main, the song starts with the intro riff. <laughs> which is really cool sounding and super iconic and easy to play. Um, but it's a bit of finger style picking stuff. So it starts with this like D major C. Okay. It's the C it's a C shape, but it's D it's an actual D major type chord. Um, so I'll, I'll alternate back and forth. It's a C it's a C chord shape, but with the capo, it becomes a D. Okay. So we should have, I should have called that a C just to keep it simple for you. So it's a C major seven shape at the start. So that it's cool how the song starts. It's like. Okay, so it starts with that C major seven shape. And you hammer down on the your first finger on the uh, first fret, second string. So you do a C, so a full C. So it's like C major seven down to C and then back off. So it's, okay. I'll zoom in a bit more for you. Yeah, so it's like, and you just pluck the, the fifth string and the second and third string. You can do that with me, so. And then, so that brings you to the, so the C, C major seven to C, and then off again to the G chord shape. And we're just looking at the chord shapes right now. Okay, so it says A there, but it's actually a G chord shape. But it is C, it's A with the cable. 
Okay, so let's try that together. Then you do then you do second string and third string. So it's so it's Okay. That's how the song starts. Really cool how it starts like that. Then you slide up to the ninth fret. And you play an F sharp minor shape. And these are our 10th chords that I always talk about and love. I love these chords. They're called tenths, but they're actually just thirds, but the third is stretched up to the next octave. So it makes it a 10th. Okay. So that's what it looks. There's the shape of it there, the fourth chord over. You're just playing two notes and you're up on the ninth and 10th fret. I think she plucks like the second and third string with together because you have that open A ring in here. Gives it a nice drone sound. And you're on the ninth fret with your bass string. So it sounds like that. Then that's your minor six chord, F sharp minor. And then you drop down to the E shape. So it's a similar two finger shape only it's the major shape, the major 10th shape. Look at my other videos to help you. I'm all about those 10th chords. I got whole videos on it. Best chords in the world, okay? Best sounding chords. Oh, that's really nice. So you got that. She's always doing that third, second and third string pluck there. So it's like, Always does that after, and then down to this that major seven shape, C major seven, to the G with that other pluck. Okay, so that's the riff. That's it. That's the iconic fast car riff that you it's so fun to play, and it's really easy, and you'll sound just like Tracy Tapman. Okay, so let's put it together, nice and slow. Up to the ninth F sharp minor to the E, which is fifth chord, and then the C shape again. All right, the hardest part I find of the song is stick, like getting that part in, that part part right there you just got to get that quick feel there okay hope you're trying this at home all right so those are the chord shapes that make that riff up so that should be a D major 7 shape and then the C shape then the G shape, then the F sharp minor 10th shape, and then the E 10th shape, okay? I did call those D major, but that's actually a C shape, and the A is a G shape. Okay, so let's dive into it a little closer here and look at the tab so you can actually see what is going on. Okay, so if you want if you want a little bit of a tighter look and a more microscopic look at what's going on, that's the tablature. And I have a video on how to read tabs, so you can check that out if you need help. So it's basically just that shape, and you can see where she's doing it. She's going hammering on with the C shape, and then open again. So she doesn't look like she's playing that open A, but you can have that string droning too, just to make it sound cool. So there's the tab in the first line. And it slides up to the seven. Oh, with the capo, yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. They're counting with the capo, so. It's actually the 10th, ninth. I like it with that open A droning though. The 
then there's a cool little alternation she does. She adds in a... Okay, so she does like a... I'll zoom in to show you. She does this like... Um... On the F sharp minor, the 10th shape, go right up, skip a fret, so go... Same thing on the E, uh, only one fret. So. All right, so there you have it with that little alternation. And there's some tab if you wanna look a little closer at what's going on. You can stop the video and zoom in just to see what is actually happening, what, my, what I'm actually picking there, okay? Let's just play that again. Grab your guitar and let's play it together real slow. Two. Ready, go. So that's exactly what's going on in this ad right there. Man, it sounds so good. Those little filler, like two note fillers, make a nice kind of, make it easy to transition into the other chords. Kind of buys me some time to get to that C shape. Buys me time to get up to the F sharp again. Buys you some time so you can change in between. Yeah, awesome. So work on that. And let's keep going. And then the chorus, the change part, sort of the bridge of the chorus is real simple. It just goes, it goes, um, it goes, uh, remembered we were trying to in your car. So just a C shape. Speed so fast, G's your E minor. Sunny lights go in the stars and the D. It's a C E minor. I had a feeling that I belonged. I had a feeling I could be someone. And then to C, be someone. Back to D, be someone. And right back into the riff. All right, so it's really, actually, a really simple song. It's only made up of those two sections. The really cool finger style riff part and this change in the chorus or the bridge part just with the open strumming chords there yeah so listen to the song and play along with the song so you can actually hear how the nuances of how she's playing it and then go for the chorus part and you will be set you'll be you'll be um, playing fast car in no time okay and the reason yeah I just wanted to teach the song because it just came up again on the Grammys there a couple months ago Really cool duet with Luke Combs. Man, he does a great job of that. Like his voice, just everything kind of goes right through you. So um, check out his version too. And I think he's tuned down. He's a bit of a different tuning, not standard. But if you want to sound like the record, this is what's actually going on. And man, really cool. You just get inside a song, know what actually is happening. And it's kind of fascinating to me, actually. All right, so thanks for joining. Let me know if you have any questions. Have fun on your Saturday. I just wanted to hop on and give you a little lesson. Feel free to let, let me know what's going on in the chat there. If you have any questions and enjoy your day, check out my other videos. And yeah, thanks, guys. Exciting. See you next week, next Wednesday. All right. Have a good one.